Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to answer the question, does it matter which nursing school you attend? Many aspiring nursing students often wonder, should I attend the most prestigious university available? And the short answer to that question is yes, the nursing school that you choose to attend can impact your nursing career, but it's certainly not the only factor. And here are some things you'll want to consider when choosing a nursing school. First, you'll want to look at accreditation of the nursing program you want to attend. Now, what's the big deal about accreditation? Well, it tells us that that program from the nursing school has been reviewed and it meets a certain educational standard, so it will provide you with a good quality nursing education. Also, if you plan to go to graduate school, some graduate programs require that you have your undergraduate degree from an accredited university. So you'll really want to take those things into consideration. So what are some examples of nursing specific accreditation bodies? There's the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education, which is the CCNE, and the Accreditation Commission for Education in Nursing, which is the ACEM. So as you compare nursing schools, you can see if the college is accredited and if so what type of accreditation the specific nursing school holds. Another factor to consider is the NCLEX pass rate of that program and many nursing schools will post this information on their website and a pass rate is the percentage of students who passed the NCLEX first try that graduated from that program. So if you see that one program has a pass rate of 75% while another one has a pass rate of 95% that can help you make a more informed decision on which program is going to help you prepare better for the NCLEX exam. Another factor you'll want to consider is job placement rates. And just like NCLEX pass rates, some universities will post their job placement rates on their website. And this indicates how many students that graduated from that program actually got a job after graduation. Which leads me to my next point. Whenever you're looking at these programs, you want to look at what type of clinical rotation sites they offer. Because this will help you sample certain specialties of nursing and decide what type of specialty you would like to enter. And it helps you network, which is one way I got my first job after I graduated because during my senior practicum, I worked on like a progressive care cardiac unit. I loved it, talked with the manager, and I got a job after graduation. And some nurses I have talked to throughout the years, they have shared that their program was a little bit different and they were limited on those clinical rotation experiences, which they didn't like. So you wanna make sure you have a wide variety of clinical sites you'll be able to go to. And finally, the nursing school costs because tuition really varies among nursing programs and scholarship opportunities as well. Some programs may have better scholarship opportunities for those aspiring nursing students. So the nursing program you choose to attend can impact your finances in a big way. Now, having said all that, the nursing school you attend won't affect everything in your nursing career. For example, as long as you pass the NCLEX, this deems you as a licensed competent nurse, and this is good enough for many employers. Next, although a nursing school can help with job placement, there is still a nursing shortage in many areas. And the Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts for RNs that there's going to be a 15% growth rate between the years of 2016 to 2026. So this shows that there is a demand for nurses, which will help increase your chance of securing a job job after graduation. And finally, your nursing education is just the foundation of your nursing career. It's not the final destination because it's not so much where you got your degree, but what you plan to do with it. And let's take Florence Nightingale, for example. Florence Nightingale did not receive a degree from a prestigious nursing university. She received training from a hospital in Germany, which according to most sources, lasted less than four months. Yet Florence felt like she had a calling to become a nurse, and she worked tirelessly to improve conditions for patients and to systemize a training method for nurses. She revolutionized the nursing profession, and most nursing schools today still recite the Nightingale Pledge. 
So the nursing school you attend can matter in some ways. However, you can attend a small, relatively unknown program and still do great things in your nursing career by working hard and thinking outside the box. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.